thank you so much guys for joining my uh, youtube channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do i am creating the entire playlist that will teach you about google ads from beginner level to a level that you can start using google ads like a professional and i am keeping these things on youtube for free so that you can watch them and you don't have to go to institutes these to learn these things you go to an institute to learn these things you're wasting your money and you're wasting your time you don't go to institute to learn these stuff you go to institute to learn things in real time in a practical environment but a lot of times people don't even know how to learn where to learn they simply end up going to an institute where you learn these stuff now there are umpteen number of videos already available don't waste your time watch these videos completely and i bet you'd become a master at using google ads but still you wanted to learn upon big accounts who spend crores of rupees then you must join an institute or learn from somebody who has access to these things right and and before uh, without wasting much time so let's jump into my another uh, video today we'll be discussing about the difference between the search network and display network so what is search network and display network see essentially what google have done is google is a platform or google ads is a platform to promote your business on the internet right so to promote your business on the internet i would rather say like this think like this they're all websites so you can't promote your business on all these websites in the same way so what google has done is they divided the entire network which is all websites into two parts first part they call it one network second part they call it one other network the first part for first network google calls it search network second part google calls it display network in this network there are websites in this websites in network also you have websites but these websites google calls them search network second one google calls them as display google display network this network is also a collection of websites this network is also a collection of websites but why google have done it is because you can't promote your business on all websites in a same way you can't be effective that's why they have divided the entire network into two parts search and display here also you have websites here also you have websites but this network google calls it search network because this websites are all search engines so this network is primarily a group of websites which are search engines now what is search engine it is a website but why this website is called search engine because it gives you result only when you search other websites are not called as search engines because you don't have to go and search you go to their website automatically you get results think like this you go to deccanconical.com you just enter you get results but you come to google.com which is again a website deccanconical is a website google is also a website but you come to google website you don't get result unless you search and the website which gives you result only when you search we call it as a search engine and this network which is google uh, which google calls it a search network they're all websites which are search engines and google put them separately here and other websites which are not search engines we will put them separately in another bucket called as google display network so when you create a campaign in google ads you have search network and display network search network it allows you to reach people who are already looking for you that's the beauty of search engine people come and search for you on google and that's when you show so you're not reaching them they are in fact looking for you but display network is more of branding and awareness where you chase them they are not looking for you they are just browsing you try and see their ads right you you try and show them ads right so if you're already if your business is already there and people are searching for your business already for example if i am a washing machine repair guy and i know a lot of people already search on google so why should i start with display network i want those people who are already looking for me that's why i start with search network so when i create a campaign on search network in google ads your ad will appear to people who are already looking for you so this way you are connecting to people who are already interested in your service so what is search network let's jump in search network is a network which consists of websites which are search engines so when you target search network you serve ads to users who are already searching for your business on google where which is search engine and and remember when you target search network google is not the only website there what google have done is they partnered with various other search engines so when you create a campaign targeting search network your ad will appear on google when people search for you but your ad will appear on other search engines as well and search engines that include uh, netscape.com earthling.com amazon tripadvisor and many other websites so you go to these websites as well you search on these websites you still find google ads so google is not the only search engine that google works with google works with various other search engines but here you have a small option you can go check or you can go uncheck i will take you through that in a while just moment one moment so i created one campaign here search network you see when i select the search network here when i select the search network campaign i will teach you about creating a campaign and all how to create these campaigns in my future videos but for now just hang on i want to specifically teach you about search and display so when i select search network here you see it says hey you want to include search partners what are search partners google partnered with various other search engines already when you keep this option open your ad will appear on google and other search partners as well right and display network display network is a network where your ad will appear on other websites 
Now, the, how many websites are part of Google Display Network? You know, they're close to 3 million websites. And again, these are websites which are not owned by Google. They're websites owned by website owners, but they have partnered with Google. Why? Because Google can place ads on their website and they can make money. So if you have a website and if you have a lot of people coming to your website and you want to make money by giving your ad spaces to Google, you can do that by applying for AdSense. So all those websites owners who have applied for AdSense, they in turn become a Google Display Network site. Or all those big, big publishers who are now part of Google Display Network, they either become a Display Network partner by applying for AdSense or by applying for Google Ad Exchange. All the inventory that is available in Google Ad Exchange is also part of GDN. Right. And, and GDN gives you reach. The primary reason for GDN is to do uh, is to create advertising in such a way that you chase them. They're not looking for you. They're browsing, but you chase them like remarketing. You go to other websites. You, you for example, you go to Deccan Conical. You see an ad. I, I never asked for this, but they are serving it. Why? They are creating campaigns, targeting this network. But on Google, you search. That's when you see the ad. Hey, why did they show the ad? Because you searched. So search engine marketing or search network is also called intent based marketing. How do you know the intent based on the search term? And that is why you need a search term on search engine because you unless search term is there, the search engine will never give result. But on display network, they're just browsing. They're not searching as they are browsing. We have an opportunity to put our brand before them. It is primarily focused on branding and reach and awareness. And that is why we call them as identity based marketing. But when you come to search network, you only find text ads. I'll give you an example. If you come to Google.com, if I type in something here, if I type in something like septic tank cleaning here, I'm giving this example because I have one client. I'm, I'm just telling you why it's important. So if I type in like septic tank cleaning in Hyderabad, now think who will search septic tank cleaning in Hyderabad? People for time pass, they don't search. They search only when they have a need and that too an immediate need. So if you want your septic tank to be cleaned, you come to google.com. Now, are you looking for that guy or he's looking for you? You're looking for that guy. Right. All he's doing is he's just appearing on Google because he knows his customers search on Google. So if you know your customers are already searching on Google, first tap these people rather than you going out and finding your customers. It's important that you find those customers who are already interested, already searching for you. And where is that going to happen on Google.com and to create ads on Google.com? You have to create Google search network campaign. Are you getting me? And this is an ad that I've created. This person does not even have a website. Without even having a website, we still created his ads. This is the ad that I have created. So when people search for septic tank cleaning in Hyderabad, his ad appears. You know how much he invests? 150 rupees is his budget every day. And every day he gets three calls and each of the conversions, uh, uh, for all the conversions, each conversion value is like 1500. So he makes 5000 rupees every day by investing only 15, 150 to 200 rupees. That's the power of Google because he's, he's serving those people who are already looking for him. And, and one point to remember here, search network allows only text ads. So you got to create only text ads. The other formats as well, but primarily uh, they, they move around those text uh, format in nature. But when you come to display network, your objective is to create awareness. So that is why Google allows you to create ads in, uh, you know, all sizes, banner ads. Right? So you can put nice image and nice logo. So when people see, they remember your brand. Right. The objective is that. So in this network, you can create ads in, uh, you know, uh, what do you say? Uh, image uh, and uh, flash, rich media and video. But here you can only create them in text ads. Uh, right. But in search network, when you create, you have other options as well. If I go a little back, let me let me go back. OK. When I create a new campaign, when I create a new campaign, this is how you create. I'm going to teach you how to create a new campaign. In my future videos, just stay connected. So I select create a campaign without a goal and select search network. Now, there's other campaigns as well. Search is there, displays there. Shopping campaigns. Now, what is shopping campaigns? Shopping campaigns is something like, for example, if I type in like buy DSLR cameras, right? No, these are the text. There are no text ads here. There are only free listings appearing. Now, these ads are called shopping ads, right? Right. Earlier, shopping ads were also part of search network. So if you had to create a shopping ad, we call them product listing ads earlier, but now Google calls them shopping ads. If you had to create those PLN shopping campaigns, you had to create a search for campaign. But now Google's created a separate campaign called shopping campaigns. Clear? Earlier, if you had to create a video ad, you had to create a display for campaign. But Google separated them and Google has a separate campaign objective called video campaigns. Right? But essentially, remember, top level, there are two types, search and display. Search, you show ads to people who are already looking for you. That is better because they are interested. And you do that only when people are searching. For example, will anybody go to Google and type in Zuzu shampoo? Nobody does that. So it's not important to be on Google because nobody searches for that. 
So what you have to do is you have to do display network campaign because you have to create awareness for that. And once you create awareness, once people start recognizing, people come to Google and search, right? So this is where I want to stop search network, display network. In my future videos, we start with search network. Once it is done completely, then we'll move on to display network. We will learn display network to an extent. I'm telling you, you don't find anything like this in the whole country, right? And I'm teaching this all for free. So you can learn everything at your home, at your desk without paying any money, but you still wanted to learn in real time because that is what will make your career. Then you join an institute. You can go through my website as well. You want to get connected to me, go through my website, prashantraininguntala.com. You'll have a lot of information. Thank you so much and continue to watch my other videos. Take like three, four hours consistently and watch these videos at a stretch and I bet you become a master at using Google Ads. Thank you so much and I will see you with another video. Stay connected.